Hello and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to do a quick overview of the theme builder. So I'm just going to be covering like the main areas, the interface and pretty much uh, where to find little things if you decide to start using the theme builder. So when you install DV 4.0, when you first look at it, it's going to be pretty much uh, like what you're used to. But you'll notice something very, very important here. And this is this new entry called theme builder. So if I come over here to theme builder, this is the new interface. So by default, it's not going to have anything in here. So let me just explain what is happening here. So first here we have the global header. So this is where you can design a header, which is applied throughout your whole website. And over here, you can also design a global body and also a global footer. So adding these is very easy. So you can just click here on add global footer and it gives you two options. You can either build it from the library or you can build the global footer from scratch. And this is where you would you know, build everything you know, by yourself. So let me just show you what interface you see when you build a global footer. So if I click on here, you are greeted with this uh, layout, which of course you're familiar with uh, if you're a DV user. So if I come over here to build from scratch, this now gives me the builder itself. So I can choose how many columns I want to choose. And I can also decide what I want to have in here. If I need to add a background color, I can go ahead and do that. But of course, we are not going to uh, spend so much time doing all of that. Uh, as I mentioned before, if you click here, you can also build, you can also add from library. So let's say you have some designs that are in your library. You can actually go in there and uh, pull them into this uh, theme builder and apply that design to your footers. So this opens up a lot of opportunities because if you really think about it, let's say I design five types of footers, right? I can either sell them or even share them. So this is what I'll also be doing here on uh, Funnels to Income. I will be designing specific layouts, which I will be giving away for all you members. But of course, for those of you uh, that are not members, I'm gonna be putting them out there for sale. So we can have footers, headers, we can also have product pages and so on. So the opportunities are endless, especially if you're a freelance designer or you're a design agency. And this is really, really exciting. Now, let me show you what else you can do here. So when you um, add, let's say, a footer here, you can also click this eye icon and this, disabled it from, this disables it from the whole website. So this is really cool. You can always just leave them here if you don't want to show it. And then if you want to show it, you can just add this. My first demo here is just to show you how quickly you can actually add a global footer. So I'm going to click here and click on build global footer and then to save me time, I'm going to start off with a pre-made layout. So I'm going to come over here. And then I'm just going to choose a layout that um, has a decent footer that I can go with. So I'm going to go with this one right here. I'm going to click here on use this layout. Now, before I continue, I just want to show you uh, what we have here as my footer. So I'm going to refresh this page. And if I scroll all the way down here, you notice that this is all I have designed by Elegant Themes, blah, blah, blah. So I don't have a custom uh, footer that has been added onto my website. Okay, so when you install this, uh, pre-made layout what happens is it installs the whole page so what you want to do is to come over here to your wireframe view in fact i choose to do that because it's easier for me to see what i'm deleting so i'm going to go ahead and delete all these sections except the footer now this is the footer so i'm going to leave this as it is and then click on save okay so now the next stage is to just close this and then make sure you click here on save changes. Now, here's the moment of truth. If I come over here now to this tab and refresh it, hopefully we should have our footer showing here on the bottom. So I'm gonna refresh this page. And if I scroll down, there we go, we have our footer. Now you may be thinking, well, this footer is only on the product pages, but you know what? It is pretty much everywhere. So I'm gonna come over here to my dashboard and then I'm gonna go to a page on my website. So I'm gonna click on all pages. Uh, so let's go to let's go to this Mac page. I'm gonna click on view, and if I scroll all the way down, there we go. We have the footer. So here's the thing. So let's say you decide to make a few changes to the footer. Now the good news is, whatever change you make in the theme builder, that change 
automatically gets applied throughout the whole website. And this is really, really cool. It's a time saver and it's important that you start using this theme builder. And um, as I mentioned, this is just a quick overview of how the theme builder works. I'm working on a massive course. I'm still deciding on the name, whether I'm gonna call it Web Design Formula or I'm gonna call it Divi Blueprint 4. So this course is gonna cover pretty much everything that you need to know about design, including things like color theory, design, photography, layouts, and all those things that come together to really make you a great designer. And I also didn't mention, I'm also going to add topics like SEO as well, because all this is part of making a great website that is uh, that will perform for you. So all you have to do is to either sign up for the uh, VIP membership, or you can buy Divi if you haven't bought Divi already, and this will give you access to that course. All right, so let's go ahead and let's continue with our tutorial. Okay, so I'm gonna come back over here now. So as you can see, this is my global footer. I can also disable it by clicking on this eye icon, and this will disable it from the front end of the website. Now, let's see what are the templates that we can add on this theme builder. So if I come over here, you notice that this is well thought of. In fact, you can start designing by excluding from if you wanted to, okay? But I just prefer just using this use on. So you can design templates for all pages on your website. You can just choose the home page. You can choose specific pages. So as you can see, this now will give you a drop down of all the pages on your website. And this could be also children of specific pages. Over here is post. Now this one is very important because let's say you're a Divi user or you're new to Divi and you have, let's say 5,000 articles on your website. You can design one template and just by click of a button after you've designed that template, that template is applied throughout all your blog posts. And this is going to change the way we design websites with Divi. And I'm really, really excited about this. I've tried it out, I've played around with it, and it is really, really awesome. Okay, so uh, what else can we do? So if I switch back over here, you'll notice that we also can do archive pages, author pages, category pages, date pages, <laughs> you know the deal, okay? There's a lot that we can do here. Now, the really cool thing about the theme builder is, it also picks up, let's say, for example, uh, you're running a stock DV uh, install. It will give you your, I mean, your basic, you know, pages that comes with um, WordPress. But when you start adding things like LearnDash, WooCommerce, it also introduces templates for those particular plugins. And this is huge. Okay, so let me show you. So I have WooCommerce installed here. So you notice here we can do shop, cart, check out my, uh, my account. And then we can also do all products, products archive and so on. And over here, we also have projects. So we can go ahead and um, do all these templates on all these different uh, parts of our website. So in this example here, I'm just gonna do a quick um, example of adding a product template, which then will be applied to all the products on my website. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a template for all products. So I'm gonna click here on create template and notice here, it also says all products. And let's say I add another template here and this one here is for all posts. Again, if I click on create template, it now brings out all posts. So you can just continue and just add all your templates just by adding all this. And pretty much you can add as much as you want here. So let's say you don't want to, um, have a global footer on these templates, you can just go ahead and disable them, uh, disable them this way. And let's say you wanna get rid of a particular template, you can just come over here and delete it. Now, what I'm gonna show you here is massive. You can actually export the templates that you design. And this is something that is uh, for all of you who are into designing websites, freelance designers, and anyone that wants to sell these templates, this is gonna be a huge opportunity. Because imagine this, let's say you design a particular layout, you can actually export it, and it can be imported by someone else, of course, using Divi, or the latest Divi, and use those designs on their websites. So this is the one thing that I really, really, really like about the DV theme builder. Now, let me show you what else you can do. So I've designed a layout. I mean, in fact, I designed it last week uh, when I was designing product pages for WooCommerce. So here is pretty much a basic, basic um, install of uh, 
a product page of WooCommerce. But of course, this is boring, okay? We want something more exciting. So to add a template is very easy. All you have to do is, in fact, before I do that, let's say you want to export this footer. This is where you'd come and then you can just export the file, give it a name and then export it. And then someone else can import it and add it onto their theme builder. Now over here, let's say I want to add my, uh, my design. Notice that this is only for exporting, okay? So you wanna add your design by coming over here and then click on import, choose the file. Now my file is in my downloads folder. I'm just gonna double click on it. It's called Woo product template. And then I'm gonna click import theme builder templates. And notice that I've over I've overwritten everything that I that's in there. So it gets added on and it knows that this is to do with WooCommerce products. And notice that it has all products there. Now, the one that I had uh, added earlier on, because it doesn't have anything on it, it just says unassigned. So you can go in and assign it to something else or you can just delete it. Now it doesn't have anything on it, so it won't affect anything. Now that we have this installed, this is going to be really exciting. So First of all, this is the boring one, right? So the template I'm gonna show you now is, um, in fact, let me first save. Now I'm gonna come back over here and refresh this page and notice what happens. Boom, that design is now showing on this. And this is really, really awesome. The, the font itself that I used, the colors, pretty much everything has been imported. And this happened really, really fast. Now, you may be thinking that, okay, maybe it's on one particular product, but you know what? You're wrong because this now template that I've installed has been applied to all the products on my website. So this could be a website which has 10,000 products, whatever it is, you design one template, you apply the template in the theme builder, and this then gets applied to all the products on your website. So this is really, really cool. Now, let me show you something else. Now, let me go to this product. So as you can see, I haven't refreshed this page. If I refresh this page now, notice what happens. Boom, it now has the design that I, that I created from the template. So let's say you wanna make some changes to this template. How do you do that? Well, it's very, very straightforward. In fact, let me get rid of this home page. okay? Now notice we don't have a footer here. So let's say you want to add a footer real quick. All you have to do is to drag this global footer add it here, save changes, and then now I'm gonna refresh this page and let's see if we have that footer. And boom, we have the footer. Okay, let's say uh, the client comes back and says, hey, that footer you've added, we want uh, a few changes to it. And um, we also wanna add a few colors to it. All you have to do is to come over here to the global footer and then it shows the global footer as you can see. So you can go in now and uh, let's say you come to this background, you wanna get rid of this image, you can just delete that image, no problem. Come over here to the colors. Let's say you wanna add a color to that. I've just added the color there, save. Let's say you wanna change the fonts and everything. You can just go in and you know change all that. Now I'm just doing this all quick, just to show you the possibilities of the theme builder, okay? So now that I've uh, made these changes, all I have to do now is to save. I'm gonna close it here, save all changes. Now, when I go to my footer, I'm just gonna refresh this. Notice what happens. That image that I had is gone. And this is not only happening on product pages because you may be thinking, well, this is just happening on product pages. Now, let me open the home page. So I'm just gonna get rid of this. Okay, so now I'm on my home page. I can come over here and look at that. I have my footer. It has been updated. So any little update that you make is going to be applied throughout your whole uh, website. Okay, so let's go back over here. What else can we do? So here we can add a global header and again, you can build the header from scratch or you can add it from the library, okay? Now, let's say you're not a fan of these uh, global headers. What you can do, you can create your own custom header over here. So if you want a specific header for your products, this is where you'd come and start designing your header. And uh, one more cool thing here that you can also do is when you come over here to your custom body, in fact, let me click here on edit. This will open up the DV Builder. In fact, you're all familiar with this. And if you're new, of course, uh, this is what the builder looks like. It's drag and drop, and it's very easy to make changes to. So let's say this font here, or this title here is too big. I can always come in here 
and uh, cloak to design texts and then I can just uh, adjust my size here like that save and let's say I want to add something else over here um, so what I can do is I can then come over here add a new section so let's say what I want to add here is a video so let me add two columns here and in this I'm gonna add a video so this could be my promo video for my website for a sale that's coming up so I'm gonna come over here to let's say overlay and add an image overlay I prefer just adding an image overlay here because it makes my website look much better okay so I'm gonna click upload so that's my my uh, video right there and then over here I can add a call to action so this could be let's say a Black Friday deal okay uh, click here and uh, this could be the text that goes with it and let me just add a button and to add a button I'm just gonna add a link to this and now you notice we have a button and I don't want any backgrounds here so I'm gonna say no to background and then save and then over here I'm gonna add a color for my section and I'm gonna make this black okay since this is Black Friday save that throughout my whole shop let's say I want to have this uh, to promote a black black friday sale uh, let me just go back in here and add a bit of a margin just to separate this okay that looks much better save that save this one more time so let's say i'm doing a black friday promotion and i want this to be applied to all my products on my website so all i have to do now is to save i'm going to close this here save all changes and now i'm going to go to one of my products here refresh the page and let's see what happens if I scroll down here there we go so now I have my Black Friday promotion and I have the video to go with it and uh, again you may be thinking well this is happening on this particular product but no this has been applied pretty much throughout the, all my products on my website so let's try this related product here so I'm gonna go ahead and select it and if I scroll down there we go we still have this Black Friday offer and let's go to our related products as well and let's choose this one this time and again it has my message and let's say the offer is now gone and uh, I want to go back and uh, get rid of um, that promotion on my design all I have to do now is to pretty much go back to my all my products template here click on custom body and then I can just go in and just delete it or if I want to use it maybe next year all I have to do is to come over here click on advanced visibility and then I'll just disable it on all these three views click on save close it here save and exit and then I'm going to save all changes okay so now let's go back to our product here and refresh and notice that that message is now gone so this is how you can start using this uh, theme builder it's very very powerful it works pretty much on all custom post types you can use this on uh, learn dash member press uh, woocommerce as you've uh, as you've seen but the most power now comes in when you want to use this on your blog post so let's say you want to add a section where people can sign up for your newsletter this can be applied throughout your whole website you can change it around add videos to it remove videos do split testing you can do quite a lot with this new builder so pretty much this is a quick overview of dv 4.0 theme builder to be honest i'm really excited about this i'm going to be doing way more tutorials uh, soon so make sure you uh, subscribe to the youtube channel and also you know, if you go to uh, funnels to income.com there's an offer there it's still uh, available you can become a vip member for only 11 dollars per month now this will give you access to upcoming courses current courses a live training and also themes and as you've seen this is a huge opportunity for you guys to start designing your websites really fast i'm going to be designing themes templates and all that good stuff so this membership is ideal if you want to learn how to design professional looking websites using divi and also i should mention that uh, once i uh, design the course and it's up and running i am going to increase the price of the uh, membership to $29 so if you get it now you'll be grandfathered in so you won't be affected by the uh, 
price increase when I increase the price. So it's important that you get it now. And for those of you who are already members, I need to also mention this. You don't have to worry about prices going up. You're stuck on that price forever. And that's how it works. Thank you guys very much for watching. Let me know what you guys think about this uh, theme builder and also share your ideas and how you plan to may uh, maybe use this in the future all right guys looking forward to seeing all your responses thank you very much for watching see you in the next video